everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name's tiffany and today i'm headed to magic kingdom so if you're interested then please subscribe so you can see more from me and check out my other videos this is my outfit for the day i've got these floral ears i love them so much i saw them online like earlier in the year and i just ummed and awed but didn't get them and then they sold out in the uk but luckily i um used this facebook group Shannon, sharon's disney shopping and she went to the parks earlier in the year so you could send requests in so i sent a request for this i'm so happy i got it so i can wear it today but let me show you my ootd i don't know if you can see my full body from here i've got this cute little pink dress i love being like in ditzy dresses to the park and my mini mouse socks with my dr martins hopefully i'm comfortable for the whole day also in my hand is the little microphone covers for this camera if you're wondering what's in my hand just got my objects necklace these earrings that i got from primark i'm just excited to make my way to the park having a solo day in magic kingdom so my uber driver has just dropped me off at the transport and ticket station i think this is called you can either get the monorail yeah. or the ferry boat to magic kingdom but i think i'll get the ferry boat just because it's the more scenic route the monorail i could probably get later when i'm park hopping so i think i'll go with this it just seems more fun to go but it may take a bit longer but i'm not in, not in any rush it is quarter past 11 so i've got all day really you can just about see the castle there in the distance barely the queue is getting big for the ferry i hope i make it on this next one if not i may just get the train Just got off the ferry boat in Magic Kingdom now. There's a massive queue to take a picture with that Mickey and Minnie um, little statues there, so I'm not going to bother waiting. But just admiring all the scenery. I'm so excited to be here, but there's a parade in half an hour, so I better go and get in and find a good spot. Yay, more park maps to add to my collection. Oh, and so many languages. English, for favor. Cute. I can't believe I said I was gonna rope drop. It's literally nearly midday, but this is early-ish for me. My next day, I will actually try and rope drop. But anyway, let's head inside. I'm so excited. Ooh, the Town Square Theatre. I think it's been a when was I in Magic Kingdom last? Actually, no, it was. Oh, well, it's January 1st, so today, so definitely be last year. I don't think I've done a full Magic Kingdom day. Maybe since like 2019 or something. Just saw the Dapper Dans making my way up Main Street to see the castle. Do you get emotional when you see the castle or are you normal? Just my like Wow. debating whether I should just go on rides now and watch the next parade at three since it's a bit quieter now while everyone's out watching the parade because after two more people might be in the park because you can park hop. Hmm, decisions, decisions. <laughs> Please step carefully onto the moving platform, then step into the car. For your safety, remain seated at all times. In tomorrow. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizer. A cot and a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny ORAC. Home to the greatest 
goods in the galaxy. Except of a good circuit. And these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. I just realized I've never seen Tron. Last time I was here, this wasn't built. Wow. Okay. Next step, Carousel of Progress. I love the People Mover. That was so much fun. That was fun. The Carousel of Progress. I realized I've not been on that in about over 20 years. The last time I was on it, I was five. So yeah, about 23 years ago. Wow. So that was fun. It brought back so many memories. All I remember as a kid is just seeing the moving things and the chairs, like, you know how the stage moves around and being so confused as a kid trying to work out how that happened. But yeah, that was so fun. That's my aim today. Just do all the rides that I haven't done since I was a kid. So yeah, I don't know where I'm going to next. There's another parade at three that I'm going to try and catch, but I've got two hours to kill and I am a bit hungry actually, so I'm going to find something to eat first. Oh my goodness, it suddenly got way more packed. It was not this crazy like an hour or so ago. Mad. So I'm heading to Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. It's got the root thing, so hopefully I don't get lost. Oh my gosh, perfect. I found it. I'm so proud of myself because you guys know my sense of direction is non-existent. Okay, that did take a minute. I didn't, I can't bother to mow my order, so I just waited in the queue. But I got chicken tenders and fries and a lemonade. And this came to 16.49. Yeah, I just had a fry, it tastes so good. One thing about me, I've always got to end on a sweet note. Just as I was leaving, I saw the Cheshire cat's tail. It's like a croissant kind of, actually, you know those twisty French pastries? It's one of those with a bit of icing. This was about $6.39 with tax, but it looks delicious. We'll see how it tastes. I had the Cheshire cat's tail. It was okay. Nothing amazing, but it curbed my craving for sweetness. Debating what to do now because the next parade is in 50 minutes. It's not long enough to go and do anything else. I might just try and get a good spot now. That way I know the spot I've got is good for the parade. It is currently 2.36 and I've got myself a spot for the parade. It starts at 3.00. Honestly, just easier just to get a space earlier. There's nobody near me. I'm on the front row so far, so looking great. I tried to go a bit further down, but it is just really, really mad by the castle. So I thought here is fine. I should be able to see everything go past. actually starts in Frontierland. I didn't even realise that. We said it might take about 20 minutes or so to reach us. I'm tempted to make my way a bit further up. So this dotted route is the parade route and I'm literally like right here at the end. Hmm, decisions. <laughs> Better than any team they got home there! 
to go to the toilet and I want to use the um, tangled ones. I wish I had more tangled stuff. This area is so cute. So here is where Tiana's Bayou Adventure is going to be. I wanted to go on Pirates of the Caribbean but it's a 50 minute wait. I'm at that point now where a lot of the wait times are getting a bit higher but I just don't want to wait an hour. Also wanted to go on Jungle Cruise but again that is an 85 minute wait, I just can't bear the thought of doing that right now, especially like by myself. I think I might head back to the castle because I actually didn't take any pictures. I need to beg somebody to take a picture for me. I just got some people to take some nice pictures for me. I think I'm gonna park hop to Epcot because Soren is only 40 minutes. I've not seen it that low all day and then maybe come back here for the fireworks. We'll see. I just feel like if I don't park hot, I'm not taking advantage of my ticket, so I'm just going to go somewhere. Frozen Ever After? Where is it? 55 minutes? Never seen it that low ever. And Soarin' only 40 minutes. Here's to hoping it gets even lower by the time I um, get there. And Main Street looks so beautiful, all lit up. Oh, I better get out of the way. This is the path where everyone's taking pictures. But yeah, all the lights are starting to turn on. It looks so nice, all lit up. <laughs> Having a quick stop in Main Street Confectionery. Hopefully I can get a quick snack to hold me over till I get to Epcot. biscuit but the mickey cookie was or had almonds in it and i can't have nuts and the other one it had like traces of peanuts and i thought i don't want to risk it I'm by myself imagine having like an anaphylactic shock by myself on the first day of the year no so i'm gonna head to epcot see if i can find a snack there instead i love how the park looks at this time maybe i'll be on the monorail at sunset and the christmas tree oh so nice On the monorail, 
the second one now transferring to Epcot. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. It's gone down to 30 minutes. 20 minutes, OMG. This is really going in my favor. Spaceship Earth, looking absolutely stunning. But I am going to run to Soaring now. Let's finish Soaring, that was so much fun. It was about 22 minutes wait, so perfect. And Spaceship Earth is now saying only five minutes. So I'm gonna go on that now as well. Great. So now I'm like, hmm, I wonder what else isn't exactly the exact correct wait time. So it said 25 minutes when I got there. So I'm hoping I can get a few more things done now that it's quieter. See, now I wanted to do Jungle Cruise, but it says 45 minutes. And I don't know if that will just be a walk on like the other one. But I don't want to walk all the way back here again. So maybe I should just go, just do it. I might just firm it. Because the chances of me walking all the way back here again after Little Mermaid is slim. Or do I just go to Little Mermaid and hope that by the time I finish with that, it's gone quiet to here? Not sure. I think I'm going to call it a day, lads. I feel like I've definitely redeemed myself from the other day. I'm so tired. Little Mermaid was a lot longer than 10 minute wait. I say a lot longer, maybe like 20, 
but I just sort of took it out of me and I think I'm actually going to call it a day now. They had a sign saying that they did hot chocolate here, so I thought I'd grab some, but now I've seen the ice cream, I think I might just get a cheeky ice cream sundae. This looks insane. I can't believe I went for hot chocolate and come out of ice cream. But I have absolutely no regrets. That ice cream has finished me. The way I wish I could just teleport home right now. Back to the hotel. Anyway, last look at the Christmas tree and the castle. Because I'm still not sure if I'll come back here on my last day or go to maybe Animal Kingdom or something. Guys, we did it. I'm back home. Oh my goodness, that was a long day. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a long day. But I got so much more done. One, because I got there early. Two, because I had a plan. Honestly, I started off the day as a grumpy bear, not being able to get the Guardian's um, virtual queue space. But I thought, you know what? I can still go and have fun. And I had so much fun. I went on so many rides. I did... <sighs> I can't remember all of them now. I know I did the Castle of Progress. That was one that was just so fun to do because I literally remember doing that as a child. So going on it as an adult, reminiscing. It was, I wouldn't say difficult being alone there. I'm having to like sort of get used to that kind of stuff because that was the kind of things I used to do with my mom. Um, so it is, I'd always rather go with company than go alone, but I won't not go if, if it means me being alone, if that makes sense. So I'd rather be there and have fun at the park than not go at all just because somebody can't go with me. Like, and I can 100% stand by that, like anybody should go, feel comfortable going by yourself. As usual, I ask strangers to take pictures for me, I'm not shy at doing that now, and I know it's like when I ask, when I see a couple take a picture of each other, I'm like, oh, do you want a picture together? They're always like, yes, oh my gosh, thank you. And I'm like, while well, you're here, get it one for me, please. And it always works out fine. So I asked a couple, a couple of couples to do that for me. And I got a good few sets of pictures in the end. Park hopping, I'm so glad I did this time. Using the monorail to get to Epcot is so quick. I couldn't believe I did soaring so quickly. And um, Spaceship Earth. I can't believe Pirates was a walk-on. So many things I got done in the evening. As much as coming earlier, you can get more things done. The evenings, I was shocked just how quiet everything was. I left because at that time I was knackered, but most things were like a five minute wait at that point. So it, you really can get so much done in the evenings. I did end up missing the beginning of it because my monorail on the way back did, did get stopped for a bit. And so the fireworks died while I was on there. But I was able to get back and see the end of it. <laughs> Not from a very good view, of course, by the time I arrived, but it was still fun to be able to see it in general. But yeah, overall, I had such a fun day. So much fun. Just, look, I love Disney, I love being there, and such a great start to the year. The 1st of January, Monday, the 1st of January, 2023, 2024. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it already. Mixing up the dates i'm just so glad i had such a fun time and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please subscribe so you can see more from me i will be going to disney one more time before my trip ends i've got one full day now and then the day that i leave I'm trying to decide what to do with the days it's going to be interesting but of course you'll see in the next vlogs whatever i decide to do so hopefully i will see you in the next ones thanks so much bye